Uh, playing on the road uh, in the Big Ten is extremely tough, your first game, and uh, it's a great lesson for um, our young team. I uh, knew it was going to be a battle. Illinois plays a very different style than anybody else in the Big Ten, and um, their buzz defense where they're trapping, um, you know, just makes you play at a higher level, uh, a little crazy at times. Uh, but really proud of our resilience. We got out quickly. Uh, what they've been doing to teams is getting out early, um, like 10 2 or 12 to 4. Uh, we need to make sure that we did that to them. Um, so we tried to set the tone the first half. They kind of got the momentum in the second half, but then we were able to get some stops. Um, and the biggest thing is being plus 20 boards. Um, that was the key to the game. Lisa, what's it to say about your team that you're able to hold on in one of these close games? You know, sort of a change from those early losses you guys were suffering. Um, it definitely says a lot. We learned uh, preseason. Um, coaches drilled in us, and as captains, we drilled into uh, the younger players. Like, conference is different. It doesn't matter what ranking you are, um, how you finish in preseason. Everybody's coming to the Big Ten. So we just had to come up from the beginning. Lisa had to hang on with Bridget and Whitney on the bench those last two minutes. Just for, like, for you guys to do that, to hang on to this game. Uh, yeah, they were, they were key uh, to the game. There, so they had some big plays. Um, but I felt that everybody that came in, they stepped up. They knew what they had to do. We just had to get stops, and everybody did that. Bridget, how much talk <coughs> you guys had in the last few games about getting off to better starts, and how good was it today to, to be able to start a lot better than you guys have? Uh, getting off to a strong start has been a huge emphasis. You know, since we learned that in preseason, that was a struggle for us. So constantly, every day, we're talking about it. And uh, you know, I'm going over the scout report. Coach said Illinois likes to get out early. That's how they beat teams. So I think getting out early and handling their runs was key to this game. Whitney, did you feel like uh, Lisa and Bridget and you kind of played off each other today, knowing that uh, he was hot and you know, knowing when to run and when not to, when not to run? Yeah, definitely. It's something that we worked on, you know, getting the ball into the middle, looking for your partner, looking for the high-low, and um, pretty did a good job of attacking and then seeing the open person. So I think we played really well together. Bridget, a lot of things weren't falling for the team, but the ability to get to the free throw line, especially that stretch where you took many free throws and still be able to get some points, how key was that to, to try and still be aggressive on offense? Um, going over Sky Report, the only way to really – be a strong defense and an aggressive defense is to attack them. So just emphasizing that, and as a team, I feel like we moved the ball really well against their zone and against their man, and just attacking it was um, a really key, big key tonight. Lisa, just uh, if you could discuss Ashley's two three pointers there. You guys have, have struggled from the three point line this year, but really today, but just for her to step up in that situation. I think Splash's uh, threes were key. Um, we tell her all the time to keep shooting the ball whether you miss it or not, and she was open, she had the chance. That's what she did. Whitney, you're pretty patient, right? So the last two minutes, pretty easy to sell the <laughs> <laughs> No, not at all. Um, I'm a really passionate player, and obviously when you, you're getting fouls, it kind of takes your momentum away, but I just try to support my team and watching Ashley step up and Lisa knock down free throws, and everybody just played really well at the end. It, it was way off my shoulders. <laughs> Hey Whitney, I mean, to finish you know, plus 20 rebounding, what do you think you know, the team did well to, to get that many boards? Uh, boxed out, you know? I mean, everybody crashed. We had Bridget crashing from the guards, Lisa crashing, so they had to put a body on everybody today. And we were able to get through the gaps and get our hands on a couple boards. Sharon, was it important as the game went on to play through these three players, the way that they were playing, and the openings that they were seeing, especially on the offensive end? Well, when you start the game, you just have to see what the flow is going to be. And, um, you know, Bridget just attacked, you know, uh, the first half and got to the foul line quite a bit. And that, that was huge. And, um, I mean, everybody's going to worry about Lisa and Whitney, you know. So, um, I think being able to get the ball to the high-low, getting it to the mid-post, back door, that's what we're trying to do. And, but Bridget was a key because you got to be able to penetrate. you got to penetrate against zone or man. When she penetrated, the middle was wide open. She was able to, you know, be able to hit Whitney. And then Keys, key player, freshman, clock going down, she drives, takes a great pass, and Lisa, Lisa gets fouled. I mean, you know, just players are starting to really step up. You know, these three play great, and, you know, they're nothing without their teammates. Pretty important to stay aggressive even without the shots falling. Did you guys get the line there? You know, in that period where you weren't making field goals? No, it was, I mean, it was key. And it, we knew at the end, if we had the lead, that they're going to have to foul us, you know. Um, and that, 
that has to be it. We have to knock down free throws. That's how we won our games last year. We had five games in overtime and we won because we made free throws and that's going to have to continue. And the two games that we should have won this year, we didn't make our free throws. So that still burns us. Coach, how important is it, was it for you know, your team to you know, maybe make Illinois be more of a jump shooting you know, team and you know, limit their attacks in the basket? You know, for us, we didn't want them to do any stationary shooting. Um, they're good stationary shooters. And so, you know, usually we had jump ball screens. We didn't have jump ball screens. We're um, bodying up because their two post players can shoot for three and they weren't able to get many looks at all that way. Um, so we wanted them to penetrate into a pull-up jump shot, and they didn't do many of them. They kept kicking it out. So I thought, you know, the defensive mind uh, mindset of our team and how we played it is exactly what we wanted.